One thing you should know, incidentally, though, is that the FDIC, which was started, I think it was started January 1st, 1934, but it, it was a New Deal proposal, and the FDIC uh, has not cost the United States government a penny. It now has about $100 billion in it, and that money has all been put in there by the banks, and that's covered all the losses of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of financial institutions. And uh, I think the impression is that, that the government the government guarantees save the banks, but the government money did not save the banks. The bank's money as an industry not only has paid every loss, but they've accumulated an extra hundred billion, and that's the reason the FDIC assessments now are going back down. They had them at a at a high level, and they had a higher level for the very big banks. So it, it uh, when you when you hear all the talk about the political talk about the banks, they had not cost the federal government. Uh, Okay, they have. They did. A, there were a lot of actions that took place that should not have taken place, and there's a lot fewer now, I think, than there were in the period leading up to 2008 and 9. But uh, uh, some banks will make big mistakes in the future. Charlie, I got. I've got nothing to add to that. Uh, okay, Jay 